Hey guys, it's Ruben from Ruben and George Angling, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really easy, simple pole rig. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is a float. This is the one I'm using. Here you go. 4x12. There you go. Second thing you're going to need uh, is just some hooks and nylons, or you can make hook it on yourself, but it's easier to use hooks and nylons. So I've gone with silverfish maggot, doesn't matter what size, depends on what you're going for. I've gone for some size 16s. There you go. And then got some lime. I've picked picked up some Shimano Aspire Silk Shot, about five pound line. Next thing you're gonna want is something to put your rig on. There you go. And then finally, second to last, got some shot, various sizes, got some number tens. Got some number nines or elevens, and then some number nines. And finally, you're not necessarily going to need it, but I like to use it. One of these, they're just helpful for putting your shot on. You put the shot in between and squeeze it. There you go. Now on to getting the rig ready. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to get your line, like so. You want to pull it out. Uh, then what you want to do is you're going to put your float onto the line like so then what you're going to need is three float rubbers one longer than the other you're going to put your small two small ones on first So, and go first one goes on, put on the second one, there we go, and now put on the third one. Make sure you always put your third one on last your longest one on last even because that's going to be the one that stops you getting tangled right there we go so I've got all three on now like so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and slide them on. So I recommend getting something tight, pulling up against it, and then just slide them on. There we go, number one's on. Just slide that up to the top. Number two. Goes on, slide to the top, and number three. Slide that one on. Now, I like to leave the third one hanging just off the edge. This, as you see, stops tangles and it pushes it back to where it should be. Then you want to position them. Third one goes in, second one goes in the middle, and push the other, the first one right up to the top. So there you go, now you've got your float on your line. And now on to the next bit. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you can just move your float right up to the top. Get that out of the way for now. Next thing you want to do is you just want to tie a loop at the end. Doesn't matter how big or small it is. There you go. And then next thing you want to do is you want to get your hook to nylon that you have. As I say, it doesn't matter what size it is. It just depends on what fish you're trying to go for, what size. There you go. Got my hook to nylon. There. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the loop. We're going to do a loop to loop. So what that is is you're going to put the loop 
of the nylon through the other loop and then put your hook through the loop of the hooked nylon. And then you're just going to tighten the line and then pull it into a knot like so. So there you go, there's the first part of the rig, just simply float leading down to a hook. Now on to the shotting. So obviously my shotting's not going to be absolutely perfect because well, I haven't got a shotting tube, stuff like that, so I mean I'm going fishing tomorrow so I'll probably head down there, check my float out, see what it's doing, get it properly like, shotted to the perfect weight. So this is my rig, I've got, hang on, take it out of the thing. I've got the float heading down. I've got the float heading down to a bulk. A few number tens. I can always arrange change that when I get down to the lake. So depending on what the float wants. Down to a number nine. A few number nine droppers. Down to the hook. That's simply just my rig. I can adapt it if I really want to down at the lake. And then once I've done that, I'll get my thing to put my something to put your rig on. Doesn't have to be amazing. And I'll wrap it around this. You can always move your float if it doesn't fit exactly how you need it. There you go and I always like to add a few more turns just to make sure that even if I go to a mega deep lake I've got it perfectly so there you go now I'm all, all I'm gonna do is chop it make another hair loop attach it to the side and there you go that's the rig done then you just got to head down to the lake, get it properly shotted, and you should be catching. Thank you for watching. I've been Ruben. Like and subscribe.